Hey guys, it's Alina here, and today I'm going to be doing the tutorial video on how to hack the 3.70 PS Vita firmware version. So enjoy and stay tuned. Alright guys, I'm back on the PS Vita, and now I'm going to be showing you which game you need to get so you can do the hack. So every region in the world has a different game that you need to download. For me, it's going to be the Ape Quest game. I've already downloaded it, but for people, the people who are in the same region as me, I'll be showing you which game it, it is exactly. So what you want to do is open up the App Store like this. Go to Games and then search Ape. It should appear. And here it is. It's the Ape Quest starter pack PSP game. So all of these hacks are PSP games. Um, so the pre previous gen handheld cons console, which enable you to um, jailbreak this one. So that's the game you need. And just to prove what version I'm on, what I'll do is go to the settings. And show system information. As you can see, 3.70. My space is taken up. That's because the game is like 250 megabytes. And lastly, the important thing that you need to do is go to PlayStation Network. If you're on 3.7, it's going to work either way. So what you need to do is go there, scroll down, go to system activation, game, and what you want to make sure you do is activate your system. My one's already activated, but I'm just showing it for the video case. There you go, activation complete. And that's it. Now what you want to do is connect your device via USB. Alright guys, I have now plugged the cable in and connected it to my computer. And now what you need to do is open up Content Manager, click Start. And then that's it for this step. Now you're going to go to the computer and I'm going to show you what I'm going to show you what programs you need to download so you can transfer the hacked game back onto here. Because pretty much what we're doing is we're transferring the original game, copying it up and making a backup on the computer and then we're going to download a hack, hack the game and then we're going to transfer the hacked version back to the PS Vita turn it on and and run the game on the PS Vita and then instead of running the game it's going to be running the hack so now I'm going to go on to my computer and I'll show you exactly the steps you need to do so you can achieve that alright guys now I'm going to show you the PC part of the hack and I'm going to show you which websites to go to which you're going to be able to find in the link on in the link in the description anyway and yeah so I'm going to show you what programs you need to install and what methods and passageways and blah 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 all that boring stuff what are you going to need to do to finally be able to get this free games anyways I've got a bookmark right here first one you're going to need to get Bing Trinity and all you do is click assets so this one all these links, just a reminder, are going to be in the description below. So you can just click there and it's going to take you to this website I'm on now. No need to write it out yourself because what kind of a human being am I going to be if I made you guys do that anyway. So you go here and you make sure you download the zip one. Fin Trinity version 03 zip. Put that downloaded. I already have all these files downloaded. I'm just showing you for illustration purposes. You click show in folder. Go into the desktop, double click it, and this folder right here, the Fin Trinity, just drag it to your desktop. That's where you want it. I like to drag it there, you can drag it wherever you want, but for me, it's the easiest to find there and be able to use it on hand. Next one, open new tab, we're going to go to QCMA. So, this program enables you to back up your PS Vita onto your PC, movies, games, whatever. So what we need this for is to download, is to back up the game that I just downloaded. If you're in the same region as me, Ape Quest. If not, I'm going to have the games listed in the description below, and that's the games you're going to need for your region. So you click here, Windows Installer 0.4.1. That's the one you get. Download. My internet's very slow, so I'm going to skip that part. But you guys download and install just like every other program. And then, lastly, what you're going to need is Python. So you download Python 3.7.3. .3, and this one is very easy to install as well. So 
this one very fast. I'll just wait for it to download and I'll show you what the setup looks like. And nearly there. And there we go. Open it up. See, I've got it installed, so that's why it's asking me to modif to modify my setup. But instead of having these options here, like modify, repair, and uninstall, it's just going to have an install option. You just click it and it does it all automatically. Cancel. And that's it. Now, after you've installed QCMA, you want to open it. And it's going to open right here on the bottom right, on the arrow. There it is. So what you want to do is right click, click settings, and this is what you're going to be able to see. So what you want to do is make sure you have the same settings as me. So this is going to be always up to date, 000. And everything else is going to be the latest of that. So you want to have exactly offline mode is going to be on ignore local file, PS2 update, blah, blah, blah. It's going to be ticked. Everything else needs to be exactly the same. This, don't touch this, and just click OK. And now you're pretty much ready. You're pretty much ready to do that with QCMA. Next, what you're going to need to do is install Python, which I already showed you, and then that's it. You've extracted Fin Trinity. So, yeah, we can pretty much go back to the PS Vita now, and I can show you how to back up the game to, to the computer with QCMA. And just a tip in case you have any issues, you click Settings. So after you've done it the first time and changed the same and changed it to the same settings as me, then you want to click OK. But for some reason, what happened with me is I go here again, I check a folder, browse, for example, and for example, it will just go to my normal folder like this. It wouldn't it didn't make the as you can see the PS Vita folder. And if I go here, music folder, data drive. There's no data drive folder. See, like this, that's what it looked like, music. But that's that's fine. The music one, we don't care. We just care about the backup folder, like this one. That's what we want. We want it to have made automatically the PS Vita folder inside of the Documents folder. So what you just need to do is just close QCMA and open it up again, and it would have made a folder automatically if it doesn't on the first time. And that's it. Now I'll see you guys on the PS Vita again back to the PS Vita this is how we're going to transfer the game onto the PC so this is where I left you guys off on the PSP the last time and if you have QCMA still running in the bottom right corner on your computer then you're going to have no issues and you're going to be able to do exactly what I do so what you want to do is hit copy content and then you want to click so that's my name of the desktop which is a pretty long one I don't know why it's named that then you want to click PS Vita system to PC then we'll hit applications. Then you want to hit PSP slash other. And there's Ape Quest. So you want to tick it and click copy. It says the selected item will be copied to the PC. You say OK, because that's if you, unless, you do, unless you don't want to hack your PS Vita, then don't do it. But that's what I want to do, so I'm going to do it. And I guess you wouldn't be here watching the video if you didn't want it to either. So now you just wait for it to transfer. And then yeah, then the game will be onto the PC and then I'll see you guys back on the PC again in a short while. Alright guys, we're back on the computer and I'm going to be showing you how to hack the game that we just copied over to the PC. So what you want to do is go to QCMA in the bottom right corner, right click it, settings, go to applications backups, PS Vita data drive, go to P game, go to here and that's the game right there. So this is the game you would have copied over. So that's good that you have the game there. That means you successfully did it. Next, you want to open up Fin Trinity, which you save on the des desktop or whatever folder you saved it in. Double click the GUI. And right here, should open a window that says I was able to find this game. Please confirm it's correct. For me, it was ApeQuest. For you, it would have been one of those other games that I'm going to have in the link down in the description below and that's applicable to your region pretty much. So for me it's ApeQuest. So what you want to do is hit confirm and now just let it do, do its magic. So now it's patching the game. So this might take a while. This is a longer process compared to the other ones. And there you go actually. That was a pretty quick process. I guess it depends how fast your computer is. So there you go, it creates a folder on your desktop right here, double click it and you can see right here, 
NPEG005 dot hacked. So what you want to do is transfer transfer this to the folder where your copied game is. And now you can delete the copied game. We don't need that anymore. Just get it away. And what you want to do is just delete the part that says dot hacked. Click OK. Click cancel the transfer to there click OK close everything down go back to QCMA in the bottom right and what you want to do is click refresh database and that's it now we go back to the PS Vita and I'll show you exactly what you need to do so make sure it's still connected to your PC otherwise the next step is not going to work right, guys this is where I would have left you off last time we were on the PS Vita and now after you've hacked the game what you want to do is transfer it back onto the console so you want to go cancel, back, back, and this time you want to click PC to PS Vita system. Applications, PSP slash other, and there's the game right there again. But this time it's getting it from the PC. You click the tick, and then you click copy. Okay, and now it's copying. So this might take a while, depending on your computer speed, which USB port you're using. All those things play a factor. My one's pretty fast, so this is going to be done hopefully in less than a minute. So I will speed this up for you guys, so you guys don't have to wait. Alrighty, now that the game is copied onto the um, console, what you want to do is go cancel. Actually, you can just swipe down and then find the game. And instead of being Ape Quest, it's going to be Trinity. So that's the hack, guys. You managed to get it onto your system. Click it, and then run it. So if it happens that the hack crashes or it doesn't work, what you want to do is just restart, restart the system. Right now, it looks like it worked. Usually, there's a black screen, and then you have to restart the system for it to work again. And then here we go. So what we want to do is click install Hankaku. Install success. And then you want to download Beta Shell. So if you see you get this problem, that means something did not go correctly and then you just simply just try again. I restarted the system and what you need to do is just click download beta shell. So what I did as well is unplug the USB cable because I think that caused it to crash. So if you have the issue, just unplug the cable and don't make it disconnect connect connect it to your computer and then it will work just like now. Then you just want to click exit. And there you go. You got Vita Shell. And if you go to your settings, you're going to be able to see Hankaku is installed. So what you want to do is enable unsafe homebrew. Spruce version makes sure it's 3.70. And that's it guys. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the tutorial. And I'm going to have more tutorials coming out in the future on how to downgrade the console and also how you can install games on it. So enjoy. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.